Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, back again with a familiar series, our Hockey Ultimate Team Collection Guides. There was a very good support to bring back this series, and considering I haven't made one of these in a long time, with the game being almost over, I think it is, uh, it's perfect to restart this series up again for those people that have not completed their uh, Hockey Ultimate Team collections yet, and uh, with the market being the way it is right now, Honestly, this is the best time to complete the collections with the prices of the players being almost ridiculously low priced and uh, insanely easy to complete a lot of these collections. So, last time I believe we've did uh, for our NHL teams, we've done Florida, we've done Phoenix, and we've done Calgary. So, we're going to continue rolling along with the easy teams in that NHL series. And next up on our list is going to be the New Jersey Devils. So, a fairly easy collection to do. Uh, you can definitely do this one under budget. So without further ado, let's get rolling with our collection guide series back again. And let's get into the New Jersey Devils. Okay, guys, so here is the layout for the New Jersey Devils collection. It consists of 26 players, 24 of them being gold, 2 silver players, 16 forwards, 7 defensemen, and 3 goaltenders, 10 jerseys in this collection, which I think is uh, one of the top number of jerseys for the NHL collections one logo, and if you complete the entire New Jersey Devils collection, you will get a collection bonus of 42,000 pucks. And once again, remember guys, like before, the collection bonus for every single collection that you want to try to complete in this game is going to be your budget for the, completing the collection. So you have 42,000 pucks basically to complete the entire New Jersey Devils collection, and with the market being the way it is right now, it's very easy to go under uh, 42,000 pucks. So without further ado, let's get started here and I'll showcase the jerseys. Okay, so here are the 10 jerseys for the New Jersey Devils collection. Uh, like I said in past collection, guys, I would be including the jerseys for you guys. So here are the 10 jerseys for the New Jersey Devils collection. I think there are uh, six gold jerseys and four non-rare gold jerseys. And always remember to pay attention when you are trying to get the non-rare jerseys because you always want to pay attention to the neck piece. Remember, there are two non-rare jerseys that have the NHL logo at the neck and there are two logos, two jerseys that do not have the NHL logo at the, net, at the neck. So make sure when you're trying to collect these things, you don't try to buy the same one twice. Always remember to look at the neck piece first. And remember, you always want to try to not spend more than 1,000 pucks total for all the jerseys. Now the non-rare gold jerseys are obviously going to cost a little bit more than the rare gold ones, but still, with the market being the way it is, you should be able to get under a thousand pucks for all these jerseys with no problem. Alright, so those are the jerseys. Let's move on to the players and we'll start with the goaltenders. Okay guys, so for the goaltenders for the New Jersey Devils, we're going to have three goalies to collect here. Corey Schneider, Martin Brodeur, and Keith Kincaid. So Corey Schneider and Martin Brodeur are the two rare gold cards and then Keith Kincaid is going to be the first silver card in this collection. So for Corey Schneider you want to try to spend between 5 and 10k, Martin Brodeur 3 to 5k, and then Keith Kincaid even though he is a non-rare silver he's only going to go between 1 and 3k so this was a lot cheaper than what he used to go for but still it's a fairly uh, decent price for all three of these gold tenders. So Schneider, Brodeur, and Kincaid Obviously, you can get all three of these guys for under 20k, or if you're going for the low end, at least under 10k. Alright, so let's move on now to the defensemen. Okay guys, so for the defensemen for the New Jersey Devils, there are seven guys which we have to collect here. Anton Volchenkov, Marek Sidlicki, Adam Larson, Bryce Salvador, Mark Fain, Peter Harold, and Andy Green. So, Anton Volchenkov, Zidlicki, Larson, and Green are the rare gold players, and then Salvador, Fain, and Harold are the non-rare golds. So, Volchenkov, 650 to 750, Zidlicki, 650 to 800, Larson, 850 to 1K, Salvador, 500 to 650, Mark Fain, 500 to 600, as well as Peter Harold, and then Andy Green, 800 to 1K. So, the New Jersey Devils defensemen are relatively cheap. Uh, the rare gold players especially, nobody really is uh, studly on defense other than maybe Adam Larson just because of his stats are pretty decent. But other than that, pretty basic defenseman for the New Jersey Devils here. Nobody really expensive and uh, defense should be very easy to handle. So now we'll move on to the forwards. Okay guys, so for the forwards for the New Jersey Devils collection, there are 16 guys which we're going to have to collect here. Yaramir Yager, Adam Henrique, Ryan Klo, Patrick Eliash, Michael Ryder. Dinah Zubris, 
Razlav Olish, Ryan Carter, Jacob Josephson, Steven Gianta, Steve Bernier, Alexei Panakarovsky, Andre Laktyanov, Damian Bruner, Travis Zajac, and the last silver player of this collection, Christopher Barch. So the rare gold players are going to be Yager, Henrik, Klo, Eliash Ryder, Latiana, Bruner, Zajac. The non-rare gold players are going to be Zubris, Olish, Carter, Josephson, Gianta, Bernier, Panikarovsky, and the only silver player is going to be Barch. So for Yager, 1K, Adam Henrik, 700 to 850, Klo, 650 to 800, Eliash, 650 to 750, Ryder, 650 to 800, Zubris, 500 to 600, Olish, 500 to 650, Carter, 400 to 500, as well as Josephson, Gianta, and Bernier, Ponikarovsky, 500 to 800, Laksyanov, 700 to 800, Damian Bruner, 800 to 1K, Travis Zajac, 1K to 2K, and then the final silver player of this collection is going to be the enforcer, Christopher Barch, and like Keith Kincaid, he, rel he goes for a relatively low price as well, it was only 400 to 500. So once again, like the defenseman, there's nothing really studly about the New Jersey a Devils forward-wise in terms of expensiveness. The Obviously, the most expensive player on this uh, list is going to be Travis Ajak, who I think is at 87 overall. And then Yager is also going to be a little bit much, but that's only just because his name. Travis Ajak gets his price up that high because of his overall. But other than that, it's just mostly just decent snipers, two-way forwards, and some... Uh, and some um, grinders here and there. Relatively cheap for forward-wise for the New Jersey Devils collection. And like I said, the Enforcer uh, barge is relatively cheap now as well. Okay, guys, so here is the budget layout for the New Jersey Devils collection. Like I said before, the budget for this collection is going to be the bonus, which is 42000 bucks. So if you try to buy all the players of this collection using the prices that I have listed on this on these slides so far going from low range to high range you can expect to spend between 23.1k to 36k on the new jersey devils collection with the market being the way it is right now which is obviously really really good and please do note that these prices are not including the jerseys and the logo so the logo will obviously only cost you about 100 bucks since it's an nhl logo but the jerseys could add and maybe an extra one two or three k to this uh to this uh to your price pricing if it is on the high end then it might be cutting pretty close to the collection bonus but if you buy most of these players on the low end which shouldn't be a problem you have no problem at least spending less than or at least half of the collection bonus on the new jersey devils collection so that is basically it for the new jersey devils collection guide guys it is uh relatively easy to do now that now that the market is the way it is with the prices relatively low uh, the goaltenders obviously are the most expensive part of this collection with Brodor and Schneider costing almost between almost at 10k between the two. But other than that, it's relatively easy. Thanks guys for watching. If this guide helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you guys are new. And the next three collection guides that I am planning on doing is either going to be the Dallas Stars, Colorado Avalanche, or the Carolina Hurricanes. So if you guys wouldn't mind posting in the comments section down below which one of those three teams you guys would like to see next, Carolina, Colorado, or Dallas, make sure to leave that in the comments section down below. Other than that, guys, hope this guide helped, and uh, I'll bring you guys back again with another NHL 14 Hut Collection Guide.